you're going to be so big. Are you hearing me? I prophesy to you today. You are going to be so big. I said you're going to be so big. You will walk in the glory of God. So big. So big. Financially stalwart. Giving you an opportunity. God's raising you up. You know, to do what? To make wealth. You are going to make money. I don't mean printing money, but I'm saying you're going to make money. You're going to develop such businesses that will create wealth. You will make money. God is giving you ideas. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Doesn't matter how small you start. Doesn't matter where you are right now. Doesn't matter. With the anointing. I said with the anointing. With the anointing you go places. With the anointing. The anointing. Rather I said the anointing. The anointing that is on you. Hallelujah. Do you know in the New Testament, we have something that Solomon didn't have? Christ is our wisdom. Are you following me? He is our wisdom. David said, wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom. He said, with all I get, it, get understanding. And when you started, wisdom said, I am understanding. Hallelujah. And when Christ Jesus takes up his abode in the corners of your heart and it begins to run your life, brother, failure is out the window. Failure is gone forever. Poverty is gone forever. If Christ becomes Lord. Hear me, brothers and sisters. It's one thing to have Jesus Christ as your Savior. And as Lord in general, it's something totally different when it becomes Lord of your decisions. Are you hearing me? That's when wisdom starts functioning in you. When it becomes Lord of your decisions. When it becomes Lord of your mind. He wants to be Lord of your mind. That is wisdom. The Lord of your mind. Wisdom is a force. Are you still there? When Jesus becomes Lord of your mind, He begins to direct your thinking. Your mind becomes anointed of God, anointed, an anointed mind receives sanctified thoughts. Sanctified, that means separated thoughts. It doesn't just mean sinless, it means something more than that. It means separated. That means that there are thoughts that are reserved for the higher, higher, higher. Hey, glory to God. Listen, there are thoughts that are reserved for kings. The Bible says it is the glory of God to hide something, but the honor of kings to set it out. He hides it. It's called the knowledge of the holy. And then he ministers divine wisdom to your mind. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. And you begin to discover secret things. Oh glory to God. Are you still there? Men. Are you still there? Are you a man? I, I said are you a man? Remember, I told you something. I said the day you were born, there was joy. Today, you are the product of that joy. Don't let it change. They were glad when you came. They must be glad that you're still here. And you're going to keep it that way. Hallelujah. Something is happening all over here.